What's going on, everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203, bringing you episode two of the three-part Gorgon series. The Gorgon is the first miniature from the Wave 12 launch of Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures and WizKids that I am tackling. In part one, we base-coated our Gorgon with Gunmetal Gray from Vallejo Model Color. And that is one solid base coat as you can see on the miniature. So he looks like he is one iron bull in a china shop. And today we are going to be giving him a black wash. Now my hope for this is that the black wash will pull up in these recesses and really create some nice effects to kind of separate these metal plates that comprise his body a lot more. So, let's see what we can do, and jump right in. And as always, special thanks to friend of the show, Dominic Marriott, owner and founder of Critic UK, all the way across the pond in the UK. Dominic, among other things, makes dice, dice boxes, dice vaults, dice towers, you name it. He's got it, and you want to check his stuff out so that you can up your game at your table as soon as possible. So be sure to like and subscribe to this page. I'm going to be trying to bring you as many painted miniature tutorials as humanly possible. My goal right now is to paint the manual, and right now I am on the Gorgon. So can't wait to dive right in. For the Gorgon, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be going with a black wash. For black washes, I use Shadow Wash by the Army Painter. Um, so I'm going to pop that in the palette and we're gonna get going here. Okay, so I do wanna be careful when applying this. I am going to actually, I'm gonna start with my, with my number two. Dilute it even more so. Okay, let's see, where do I wanna start? I think I'm gonna go on his on his leg. And yeah. Already starting to notice that wash is doing exactly what I want it to. It's pulling up in the grooves between his plates, which is exactly what I wanted. So I mentioned in the last video that washes can sometimes be fickle and that they don't always do what you want them to. This is actually doing exactly what I want it to. And it's darkening them down just a touch. Go up on the body now. Avoid bubbling. See that bubble right there? Sorry to burst your bubble, man. Sorry, I'll try to keep the dad jokes to a minimum. Yeah, I really want to emphasize this upper layer. So when I pop this wash on, I'm going to feather it up into there as well. Try to emphasize the separation between the limbs also. I'm trying to go with the plates. Easier to get the wash to collect in these grooves. Let's check out his little hoof. Oh yeah. I really wanted to bring out the, the line between his, and his hoof there, which is great. I'm so happy that that happened. I'm gonna try to check out this next hoof. A little too much. That up. Oh, 
If wash is pulled too much in an area, you can actually reduce that effect by just mopping it up like a sponge. Um, you can take your wet brush or you can take a brush that's dry. Again, washes, you just, you just want to manipulate them. Just get them to swim around wherever you want them to go. That side of his body is done. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the other side. Really trying to focus on letting that shadow build up underneath this upper mantle. Throwing out words like mantle, like what is that? You know, just trying to create that separation where these plates, uh, where these plates are. That's how the model was intended to be viewed. Definitely have pooling right here. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about pooling. You can tell it. That's kind of like an unnatural little pooling. So I'm just gonna try to move that around. I might scoop it up with my brush a little bit. Try to just push that up underneath these these little plates here. Get that wash to form in the grooves. You can definitely tell I have not touched the upper portion of this, the spine, the spinal portion I haven't touched of the Gorgon. And you can tell the, the work the wash is doing to actually darken the original base color. Make sure you take a second every once in a while to make sure you're not getting any natural looking effects. Right, let's check out his face. Being pretty deliberate with the wash now that I've gotten a better feel for it. It's emphasized his eye quite nicely. Shape. Now we're going to focus on those upper frills. Frills, I mean, I don't even know what you would call them. Spinal plates, back plates. I know for a fact I want the shadow to pull at this upper, at this lower lip right here. It's definitely an effect that I want. And so that's where I'm kind of guiding it. as well. Make sure that wash pulls up in between for sure. And get his underside. All right, so that is the wash phase of the Gorgon. Very happy with how this came out. Be sure to tune in for part three when we do the highlighting phase and also add some really cool effects on the vapor that he is exhausting from his nostrils. Information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video, as is information on how to follow special friend of the show, Dominic Marriott of Credit UK. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you for the next one.